In this tutorial you will create a beach just like this one. I will show you how to set up all this material, this landscape and the waves and let's go for a plunge. First launch Unreal Engine, go to games, let's select the third person character so we can walk around in our beach and give your project a fitting name. Hit create. Then you can delete all the things that you don't need anymore or you can go quickly to file new level, hit time of day, you can save the previous one or just ignore it. Then you delete the stuff that you don't need anymore. For example, this text and this platform. And you can keep the rest. Then we will need to create our landscape right here. Hit our activate landscape editing mode. Then choose the desired size of the landscape that you would want. For location, I will set the Z back to zero because I like it at the bottom. So my water is there. Enable edit layers right here. And then you hit create. Another tip for you, in the Unreal documentation, you can look up the recommended landscape sizes. Look for this keyword on Google and the first result should be the one. And these are some settings that are good for landscape sizes. Now we will need to add water to our level. Go back to the editing mode right here. Go to Edit, Plugins, and then look for the water plugin. Right now this is not enabled, so click Enabled and hit Restart now. Save select the level and let it compile for a while. Back in Unreal Engine, we need to open our beach level again. Go to Content Drawer, look in your Maps folder, and your beach level should be right here. Then hit Control Space to disdock this one again or close this one. And right now, when you hit Create, go to All Classes and type in Water. Right now you should see Water Body Custom and all the other body options right here. We will need the Water Body Ocean. Grab this one and drag it right onto our level right here, onto our landscape. If this is the first time that you create water with this plugin, it can take a while. Now when I hit the water, I can enable the water right here. And if I click the landscape, I can still alter the landscape size. So you can still drag around the sides because maybe your water or landscape are too big and it won't fit. Now, there is an ugly error right here, because now you see there is some kind of border right here that we don't want. So, select the water for that, and in search details, look for fall off. And you can see right here, the fall off settings and fall off mode. We don't want angle, we want width. And that should get rid of this ugly slope on the side right here. Now it's time to shape our island. To do that, I click on the water, so I have the water body ocean selected. And right now you see some dots right in the angles. When I hit on one, I can move these points around to shape my island. Or when I click this one and I hit Alt, I can create extra points. Now, sometimes you see that you get these errors, so I have to be within the margin. Or I need to increase the landscape size for that one. So you can, again, hit on the water, click on one of the points, drag them around however you would like it, and with Alt and click, you see, create more of a shape that you would like. And let's do something like this to create the island that you desire. Time for some finishing touches. Right now I want a sand on my landscape and then some props to make our landscape more tropical. Now have your landscape selected, click on it and have landscape material right here. Now, we're going to go to content and then Quixel bridge. Then in search, we look for our tropical beach and let's start with our sand first. Now, there are different types of sand, so let's look one that looks pretty. Let's say I want this one, for example. You can click on it. Make sure that you are logged in right here with your Epic Games account. Right here, there are more options and you can hit download. And when it is downloaded, you can hit the Add button to add it to your project. When you download this and edit it into your project, go back to your content drawer, and then it will have created a Mega Scans folder. And in Surfaces, you can see the Tie Ripple Beach. You can select this material, go back to your landscape right here, Landscape Material, and then use that material, or you can just drag it into that slot. And right now you can see that there is sand applied on our landscape. Great, other things we can find in our Quixel Bridge right here. Look for Tropical Beach once again. And then you can drop some props right here. So, for example, let's say you want this cliff right here. And then you can also download it. And then when it's downloaded, also hit click here to add it to your project. So when it is exported right there, 
Go back to your content drawer. But back to the Mega Scans folder. This time it is in 3D assets. And then you can just drag around like this. Then place the props that you have downloaded from your Mega Scans folder. You can also move them around, rotate it however you would like, maybe scale it up a bit more. Now, this is all your preference. You can add more of these as you go. This is just an example to create a quick beach. We want our player to start right here, for example. So search in the world outline for a player start. Then click this and hit F. Sometimes this is in a weird position like this one right here. Now, what we can do is drag this up again, hit F again to zoom in on this. So this is really deep down. Let's make sure. Okay, there it is again. And right now we want to move this one right here put this one a bit above the ground hit end on my keyboard end on my keyboard and then it snaps back to the ground so let's start them like there and for the last step we want to change the angle of our sun maybe so right now find an angle right here for example so you can look up at the sky hit ctrl and l together on the keyboard and right now you can change the angle of the sun, maybe make it dark like this for example, or more bright in the day. You can just do this as you like. For example, I want it right there. Then let go and click on the keyboard once again. I mean with your mouse and let go from your keyboard and then hit play. And right now you wake up on this beach, tropical beach with the cliff right here. And you can just tweak your beach however you would like and just enjoy the sunset.